Let's discuss self-talk. What exactly is self-talk? It is exactly what it sounds like. The conversations you have with yourself, not just during a match, but in practice, when you arrive at the arena, even after the match, win or lose, what are the conversations like that you're having with yourself in your own head? Maybe you're having them out loud. I'm not going to judge you, but it's the conversations you have with yourself. It is unbelievable the things that people will say about themselves that they would not even allow another human being on earth to say about them. You suck. Why the hell are you here? You're just negativity, unbelievable levels of negativity. I knew I was going to miss that shot. That's one that I hear a lot. Well, if you thought you were going to miss it, if you thought you were going to carry them off of that ball and miss the pocket or not hit the combination, first I have to ask two questions. One, why did you shoot it? If you knew you were going to miss it, why did you shoot it? And two, why would you send a message to your brain that you're going to miss the shot? Or lose the event or lose this game or have trouble with a particular shot. Very often as human beings we have to lie about what's really going on if we're going to succeed simply because very often things aren't going our way and you have to convince your own brain that things are going your way or at least that they're going to be going your way. The moment the moment you recognize that you're having negative self-talk with yourself is the moment you need to change gears. Identify yourself as a winning player. Even if you have a 25% win record, the way you think of yourself as a pool player is key. If you want to be an APA 6 or 7, you have to visualize that you're a 6 or a 7. Ask yourself constantly, what would the 7 be thinking right now? What would the 7 be playing on this shot? Which shot would the 7 take? Because very often I see players who talk themselves out of a shot because they have talked themselves out of the ability to make the shot. So instead of playing a pattern that would put you out, what do you do? You play a pattern that allows you to make one or two balls. Ask yourself, what would we shoot right now if I couldn't miss? And take that shot. Because the shot that puts the balls in the pocket but don't run you out, I don't care what the game is, eight ball or nine ball, ten ball, all you've done is made things easier for your opponent. So the conversations you have with yourself, you have to recognize the second they turn negative, grab them, grab them by the ears and toss those thoughts away. The second you think about yourself as a lesser player, whether it's in practice or it's certainly during a, a match, you need to recognize it and visualize it just drifting away like smoke. Have only positive conversations with yourself. Yeah, that game didn't turn out the way we expected it, but that's okay because we're improving every day. It's a much better conversation to have with yourself than, oh, I really sucked on that, that match, that game, that shot, whatever it was. Self-talk is key. And certainly don't say anything to yourself about yourself that you wouldn't let somebody else say. You suck, Brian. Just kidding. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit us in the comments.